podcast right here on the Lost Cruises channel. This is Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel. Catchy tune. Oh, there, back there. Yes. Um, do you know how to use those things? Not particularly. If you put them on the top of your head, you could go to temple. Oh, it's that's very true. simple. My, yes. my winter yarmulke. Yeah. So, nuclear daiquiri. Sounds good, right? Happy New Year, everybody, Happy by New the year. way. This is our New Year's show, first, uh, the first week of the new year. Yes, we don't know when you're going to see this, but yes. it's sometime around the new year. So, it's a long new year. So, squeeze in a bunch of lime into the container. This nuclear daiquiri is pretty much called nuclear daiquiri because, well, it's made with 151 rum. Ah, that's, which is flammable. That nuclearizes it. It nuclearizes it. Yes, it's, it's like uh, being on oxygen. You don't want to be near an open flame. In fact, 151 rum has a warning on it that says, warning, flammable. Yes. See black, back label. And then there's a picture of fire. No, it says warning with a little warning thing. Mm. We used this when we made our uh, temple menorah. We did three, we did eight cocktail glasses. We filled, it was the third night of uh, Hanukkah. Huh. We yes. filled three of them up and we lit them. And we were going to do it in the studio, but you can't see it when it's bright. It's just a light blue thing, but you can see it when it's nice and, they, and dark and they, out. And they just burned forever and they never went out. Forever. And they, yeah, that's exact. We only thought they'd do one eighth of a minute. They did a whole minute. <laughs> so I think we're going to do uh, mostly uh, this 151. But to be nice to our livers, Mark, I'm going to use this real McCoy uh, rum, which is kind of from Santa Barbara. They, is it okay to mix rums? <laughs> yes, it's. It is. Is it done? It's mm. done. In fact, some of these recipes call for three different rums. So mm. you just got to know what you're doing and what not to do. So Cruzan rum is from St. Croix. And uh, in the islands, mom. In the islands, we were at a friend's house in uh, Saint Croix, and uh, we went to the distillery. And man, rotting sugar really smells bad. <laughs> it's really. Well, it's not like when you go to a winery <clears throat> and you smell lovely. Why, why did they let it rot? Yeah, they let it. Well, it, so it much just of it. rots. Oh, the other thing is chartreuse. That sort of really helps make it much more nuclear. No, well, there's more than one kind of chartreuse, right, Michael? There, you asked me this, right? Two types of chartreuse. Well, they're both chartreuses. The green chartreuse is 55% uh, alcohol, which uh, contrasts with this, with the, the overproof rum, it is actually 75.5% alcohol. Oh, 70, right. So this is a 151 rum, which means, you know, the proof is double what the uh, alcohol is. Chartreuse would be considered uh, uh, 110. And We're using the green, not the yellow today. The yellow is sweeter and is only a 40% alcohol. No. And one of my favorite things, we used this a couple of years ago. This is Velvet Falernum. Uh, it's Falernum, which is a mixture of um, nuts and spices from the Caribbean. The Velvet Falernum is alcoholic, so this has 11% alcohol. And we used it on the corn and oil, which is one of the only drinks that actually, you, how many people there have corn and oil? We had a corn and oil, we did. We did corn, corn and oil about four or five years corn ago. Corn and oil is like grape nuts. You what do I put in here? No grapes, no nuts, no, nuts. no corn, no oil. It's just falernum. And let's see, falernum's good. This stuff has lasted. You hope, <laughs> you hope. I wonder how long you've had that. I've had this a long time. Since we made the corn and oil drink, but it's still good. I tested before I came here, so because I, I didn't want to poison you 100%. You've tried before. We tried and it didn't work. He's still here. He's still here. No Cast matter. iron stomach. Okay, so the big thing about this is it's nuclear because it's uh, kicking alcohol. You know, the, the, the friction I'm taking, it won't cause it to burst into flames, will it? Not the temperature this is. My fingers are freezing off. This, don't you love the sound of shaking? I should put a, this is kind of close. This is tantamount, this daiquiri is tantamount to doing a tiki drink. Tiki drinks have a lot of weird, extra fruity things in it. But you shouldn't ask that question about the, about the sound of shaking to a park to a park of the victim. <laughs> Don't say that. No. Here you go. 
Uh, what color do you think it's going to be? Oh, kind of green and oh, yeah. amber. Oh, it's less green. amber than I expected. It's, it's less green. green than I expected. Green took over the the rum. That's the same color as our new cat's eyes. Of course, there's not that much of this rum in it, really. Uh, yeah, that's an ounce of it. But mm. it does look very, very pleasant. It does look good. <laughs> We're dripping on uh, Don Wells's book. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. I always sniff it first. We click between our plexiglass. Whoa! He can smell falernum, and we put the least amount of falernum in. I think it's a good thing we did do that. Man, this has so many flavors. You know, chartreuse it by really itself does. is overwhelming. Uh, nobody really drinks chartreuse by itself. You got to mix it. So well, that has a lot of flavor. Falernum has a lot of that rum flavor. Well, those two together really make this a very it's pleasing pretty, drink. It's a pretty good drink. It and is. the the kicker, <laughs> the kicker. Um, rum here, which I think is this color one. And you want to drink this cold. Oh yes. You shouldn't be cold because uh, you'll just freeze up. But you do want it. Good color, right? Put Ooh. that lift that glass up. Mm -hmm. Just matches your shirt. You wore that shirt for this show, <laughs> didn't you? I didn't want to clash. You know. yeah, and so we're going to do a variation on this uh, after we're, the break. We're going to do a simple variation, uh, which we'll talk about in the second half of the show. Meanwhile, we're going to get on drunk. We're going to get our drunk on. No, we're not. Oh no, we we're don't not. get drunk. We just sample. We just sample. We only have half a glass. Although, that's uh, it's more. Than, uh, well, drink up then. Hey, you know it's it's the time of year that a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. Like what? Lady, New Year's resolutions. I resolve not to make a resolution. That's a resolution not to yes. make a resolution. Mm -hmm. Well, some people do make them. Well, they do. And they make all kinds of outlandish. And, and resolutions. what happens with those resolutions? Well, how about one is. I vow not to get COVID again. Oh, you can't again. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, speaking of getting COVID again, all the new vaccines, right? The good ones, good they vaccine. are 95% effective, right? Yes. So they tested them on people. 5% of the people they tested on got COVID apparently, right? Mm -hmm. See, here's some, here's some resolutions. It's what hard, is it's that? Hard, it's hard to read without being on the full screen. What, how'd you do that? You're magic. You're not technical, but you're magic. I can't see. So one of them earlier to bad. Drink get less. Job, eat job. healthily. I can't. Drink less. I can't read the one job. that says drink less. Get a new job, yes. Uh, lose bed. weight. More family medicine. Oh, more family time. Uh, sleep around more, you know. Is that what it says? Um, it bounds. Get a new, what's the second one? What is that? <laughs> more New Year's resolutions? Treat Alice better. Uh, <laughs> so, you know. Treat Dave Gallus better because you're a, such a mean boss. You just whip that poor guy. Well, there's a good reason to make a resolution. It's like having a goal. You set a goal. It makes it easier to meet that goal. That's basically what a resolution is. No, it doesn't is. make it easier. Sure it just does. reminds you that what you forgot to do, and then if you actually do what you forgot to do, there it is. You yes. write it up on your little board. You put it everywhere. Stick notes up. Yeah. With their, with, to remind you of your resolution. Eat breakfast. Yeah, Don't dinner? they do that on Pearls Before Swine, that cartoon? All the time they're making resolutions. He says... Uh, to, lose, to, to gain weight. <laughs> gain weight, yes. <laughs> I can do that. So your resolution could be good or bad. The thing is, do you have a goal? This is Mark's goal, to be able to eat Corona, drink Corona without feeling guilty. Without getting Corona. Meanwhile, I was mentioning the fact that 5% of the people that get the vaccine get to get uh, COVID anyway, because it's only 95% effective, right? Mm. So that's 5%. There are 365 million people in America, right? Yeah. And about, uh, what, 300,000 have COVID, which is sort of about 0.1%. So if you don't get the vaccine, because nobody has the vaccine, you only have a chance of 0.1% getting it. Well, but if you have the vaccine, you have a 5% chance of getting it. Are they counting those who have it, the 300 and some odd thousand? Do they, are they counting the ones who already have it and then no longer have it? Or is it something you have to No, no, I think it's a cumulative thing. Oh, you, like the gift that keeps you, on giving. You know, people are considering the fact that if you had COVID and you get over it with nothing really bad happening to you. Yeah. Although if you look at Chris Cuomo, he's a guy that got over it, but he still has to go to therapy. And there's different levels of getting over it. 
Right. Chris Christie had it. I, I, he lost a little bit of weight <laughs> while in the hospital. I'm sure he'll make that up. He's, he's he resolved to make it up. And he, uh, you know, yes, he and, and, and lives in New Jersey where he can eat well. The president's lawyer got it. The former president, the former mayor, Giuliani. He Mark, got it. you have a little we'll bit of your, your hair dye is going down your cheek. Oh, is it's, it running yeah, down? Yeah, Darn. Yeah. Turn these lights off. It's running down his <laughs> cheek. It's too hot out here. Yeah. Now, you know, this food is not only about drink, but it's about this food. This show is about food and drink. And, it uh, is. We always like to, we like to talk about restaurants. It's sad to see what's happened to the restaurant business in Las Cruces. Or anywhere. Some have gone out of business. Some are hanging on by their fingernails thanks to takeout and uh, parking lot tents. You know, I ate uh, on Tuesday at Wex. We had uh, lunch there. Outdoors. And it's open to, yeah, out in a parking lot. They don't even have the tent. It was rather pleasant. It was really nice. You know, the waitress was incredibly welcoming and friendly, mm -hmm. and there's things going on like... Uh, uh, traffic. <laughs> well, you don't see too much traffic, but your napkin blows away. Uh, Her bill with the tip on it blows away. Oh, you know, wow. they're running after these things. <laughs> and she was extremely cordial. And I'm thinking if I were to work under these conditions, I'd be so cranky. You know, like... Well, well uh, what's any, why would you be any different? I know. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, for instance, we like to talk about experiences we have at restaurants. Good. We or do. not so good. I'm putting more lime in here. Uh, I had an experience. I, it's been years since I've been to Las Trancas on South Solano. Las Trancas Mexican restaurant. We actually went there with the Mench Club a number of times. Mm. It's pretty good. And uh, so, I, of course, you could, they have a little outdoor area, but I ordered food to go. I didn't call ahead. I walked in and ordered it. Two orders of chicken tacos and one order of the red enchilada plates. Oh, that sounds okay. good. Now, if you like lard, I this do is like the lard. restaurant for you. I do like lard. Yes. And uh, if you don't like lard, you have to go to, uh, what is it, Habaneros. Habaneros, no lard there. No lard. It's healthy, healthy food. Now, uh, I had to wait. I, so I went up to the car to wait. I waited 30 minutes for simple Mexican food to come out. You're not a very efficient guy. If I you wanted to be efficient, you would have called ahead. I didn't know I was going to go there. They were one of the few places open on Sunday. There's another mistake. Hey, is El Patron open across the street? I know. And neither there uh, was uh, Habaneros or Signs, my two uh, favorite places. So signs, I went there, ordered, waited Good luck minutes. cafe, good luck cafe I wanted street. red chicken enchiladas. There was hardly any chicken. The red sauce was very mild and bland, I must say. And uh, everything had a lot of lard in it. <laughs> As do we. <laughs> now, yes, after eating there. But if you want a more healthy, a healthy meal, I recommend Rendezvous Bistro and Cafe. They don't do Mexican food. No. So you're talking two different things. It's a French bistro. You know, the food there is some of the best in town. All I can say is Los Trancas has lousy French food. <laughs> and I've, food I've, had, not so I've eaten at Las Trancas a number of times, and they were good. And uh, actually, the best chili relleno burritos I've ever had, which was down in Juarez, was great because of lard. Because, well, lard has a lot of flavor to it. It just yeah, also it has a lot of flavor. It has People, you know, there's there's a but if you want to be a, a slave of, to your taste buds, go right ahead. You're a slave to your. I'm not a taste slave bud. to my taste buds. Yes, you are. You you won't eat uh, certain things. Uh, you know. Is it, that not because your taste buds, or because your myths about how food can? What are you saying? If nuclear waste tastes good, you would eat it. We are drinking nuclear waste. That's the name of this <laughs> well, that's drink. Right. Nuclear daiquiri. It's a nuclear We're daiquiri. Drinking it. We're not eating it. We're drinking it. I'm chewing it. Um, so. What Rond you, Rendezvous what, Bistro. Now, by the way, they're going to be closed for two weeks, starting well, New Year's. Yeah, because of how you treated them. <laughs> because you, yeah. And they do have a big yeah. tent. He's out advertised the them because they're going to be closed for two weeks. So don't go there for two weeks. So our our business associate wants us to mention that they're doing five dollar business licenses in 2021. So if you the have city a of Las business, Cruises. yes, not us, and you could advertise, you could come onto this show and advertise for thirty five bucks. A week. Well, if you advertise on this show or this channel, you'll find out that it's cheaper than radio. And we have. Well, you can tell that just by looking. And we're on multiple Facebook uh, channels. So we're going to take a break and we'll be back after these breaks. We're going to do a simple drink Part after two. the break because we're going to be too drunk to figure it out. We will not. Speak for yourself.
found us on channel 98. Keep watching because we have so much in store for you. We want to grow together. Your channel, local and real. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with the doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. We are back. This is Double Talk here on the CoronaCast. <clears throat> Mike. Michael and Mark, your intrepid host. Hi, Michael. He's Michael He's Mark. and Mark. We try and keep things straight. See, now, there it is. And we do cocktails on the show every week if you watch the show. If you haven't and watched the show, we still do Even if you don't do watch it. the show, yeah. we will do cocktails. You know, last week we did that weird cocktail, which isn't really a cocktail. What was so weird about it? It was uh, Guinness Stout and Prosecco. It was a weird drink, but not bad. It was pretty mm -hmm. good. It but was what, a good combination. I prefer of, this one, though, Michael. Drink Be up, let's make another you, one. Because you like uh, huh? strong stuff. Sometimes. Prosecco and, and uh, Guinness Stout. That's Guinness got like, yeah. Uh, that was with, very sweet. With the word stout, you know it's strong. Yeah, it's 8% alcohol stout, <laughs> Guinness Stout. <laughs> but but um, it tastes really strong. This, let's see, this is 151, so 35. Is, this comes out to probably about 40% alcohol. Well, that's what you would expect from a cocktail. <sighs> Okay. okay, so part two. If you have over, this is all about overproof stuff because I bought this bottle of overproof uh, Cruzan rum. 151. 151 to do a Hanukkah menorah. We did uh, eight candles, which were actually martini glasses. Yes. And we did it on the third night of Hanukkah because we were on TV, or we were on Zoom oh. in uh, Jewish Federation in uh, El Paso. Did each person have their own glass? Or Here's what happened. We decided to light, we had five people in the room with us, and we had to light three of the uh, martini glasses on fire. And this is a flammable liquid, I mentioned oh, yes. that. And you could light this, but you gotta turn the lights off so you could see it. So we lit three, we made the thing that I call the um, latka cocktail on the other five. <laughs> Did we do that here? We didn't do that. What, with potato vodka? <laughs> potato vodka and a pearl onion and I floated some uh, cognac on it interesting and it came out pretty good but now I'm trying to get rid of this 151 rum because the only thing you could do with this is burn your lawn up really you just well you don't want to do what Grizzly Adams did you know Dan Haggerty yeah, you, you were telling me how was he, that work? he was eating a he, he was drinking a flaming drink he had a great big beard and he's so drunk he forgot to blow the flame out and he drank it Set his beard and his face on fire. Uh, you know, you, a face is what an actor needs. We were just... He didn't have one anymore. We were just experimenting with the 50, 151 rum in our studio kitchen. And uh, we lit a plate of this on fire. Yeah. And it was a, such a faint blue flame, you couldn't tell it was there. And now you know why our producer no longer has eyebrows. He just... Uh, is that true? Well, look, See, he doesn't have a beard either. I know, his beard is gone. Him oh, and Grizzly. Oh, he's a floor manager now. He just, <laughs> somebody got demoted in this company. I don't know. 
It's multitasking. Thanks a lot, Dave. You're putting people out of business. But let me just remind you, Chris, you could renew your business license for only five dollars in Las Cruces this year. That's right. right. City Wait, because, because of I'm putting Lyman, but I probably all the don't have to. Having problems, many going out of business, many hanging on by their fingernails. This year, when it's time to renew your business license, it's only going to cost you five dollars. Pretty good deal. Or Here's you can start a thing. business for just five dollars. Yes, you could do any of that. So what we're going to do here, without my measuring cup, because who needs it? We can um, start uh, Mark and Michael's Cocktail uh, Academy. Emporium. You know, you mentioned a lot of things like something like Velvet Falernum. Yeah. I mean, that's exotic. It's Caribbean. You could do a lot of things with this and rum and other yes. stuff. Um, we're going to be using this ready-made gimlet mix oh. that's been in my refrigerator for eight years. Maybe. <laughs> you need to have a party and use that up. <laughs> and by itself, it's pretty good. So, so we did a, a uh, rum daiquiri, which is how they usually made. We're now going to do a rum gimlet. So you know that's a very sweet concoction. Thank you. You're sweet too. But that's just the booze. Well, that's just the booze that's talking. The booze talking yeah. from you. Yeah. That's just the nicest things you ever said about me. Yes, it is. In front of my face. But I don't know if it compares to the things I said against you. Oh, there's my mixer. So, you know, one of the thing about, things about uh, being in quarantine, people are going to pre-mixers, things that are, are mixed ahead of time. They are. Some people are buying those little cans of, of sparkling uh, water with alcohol in it. But you can do all sorts of things. This is a gimlet mixer. I like it. It's got agave syrup for the sweetener. Yeah, I know. It's perfect for you. Lime juice costs. See? Basil. Yes, sir. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I don't hate it now. Oh, you're going to hate it? <laughs> I, I assume. We were fructose. getting ready to hate it. No, I, no, no. I assume sugar no, or high only, fructose. Only the best stuff for you, Marcus. I know. I appreciate that. You Michael. have to know your audience. Uh, although we don't know you guys. But write in. Email us. Text us. If you see us on Facebook, uh, wave at us or something. I don't know how else okay, this is supposed to be well. made. We'll have to see how this works. Wait, this. Uh, okay, clink between the plexiglass. Hmm. That's different. Slightly it's more bitter. It's easy. Isn't it? Easy to drink. Well, it's not as sweet as you would expect with the agave syrup. You wouldn't. Yes. Maybe we should put like more. It. Well, the you, lime juice gives it that tartness too. It does. Would you like some velvet falernum in this? Let's try it. Let's try a little velvet falernum. We're all about it. See, I, I was just saying you need velvet falernum for all sorts of excuses. We do. Now you know the uh, you know the chili drop they do downtown every year. It's kind of a gimmick they do downtown. They <laughs> like they do in Times Square. Used to. They drop <laughs> just giant. Chili that has lights all over it. It has lights and Swarovski crystals all over it, right? Yes, and, and, and the controversy is, will it be red or green this year? Uh, well, it's been canceled as a public event, but it's going to be online, and you can find out where to watch it on television and various places. This, this works. Secretly, this drink works. Secretly parked a car out there watching. Or you can watch it from afar. Or it's probably on Zoom or something. So um, The city has its own channel, right? Yes, they could televise it. Uh, so we, that's we, happening. The two of us were instrumental in the city getting its own channel. We were, exactly. Uh, yeah. We, it, we sorry, really were. We hoisted our own petard, though, as and we say. So, you know, we, Michael and I were instrumental in the TV in, in the TV channel that the city now has. Yes. Uh, uh, anyway, and, so, uh, but they don't want big crowds down there because they used to get really big crowds. There either. And at midnight, they were dropping chili. Unless you're protesting. You so <laughs> let everybody get their shots. Dave, get your shot. Before me, <laughs> because if you die, I'm not going to get it. But there are no yeah. shots available. Yeah, but we won't get shots till spring or summertime. Uh, you know that. Uh, you can get black market shots. You know, you got to know oh. people are sneaking into water, oh, yeah. picking them up. Like I need, it's a lot shot. cheaper. Mm -hmm. You know, here it's free. When you pick them up from Rara's, they pay you to get shots. Well, you know, they now have COVID home testing kits available. <sighs> yes. Yes, and you call in. Or, or actually, they have to go is online. This a, is this a nose picker? 
No, you spit it, into a cup and send it back in. Oh, it's at home, but it still takes what that's going to be a turnaround time of at least a week. Who knows? With the mail, it, I mean, it's a mail system. Yeah, well, what's, what's, with what's happened to the mail system, thank you, Donald. Uh, we who were, knows how long it'll take to get the results? Meanwhile, you're passing along COVID if you have it. We have the number, the website to. Uh, oh, we have a website. Are you going to post that? Yeah, that's it. Learn health. If you want to com. get your home testing kit, go there. Oh. And uh, request one. Anybody who's been to the testing grounds to have the thing stuck up their nose, you know, I remember in high school when you're supposed to take your own blood, right? You're supposed to pick, pick your finger. Oh, you yeah. never did that in high school? No, I never had to. Uh, I was smart enough to every time I'd go down, I'd take uh -huh. my finger away. So with the nose thing, you know, yeah. it gets into your brain. You go, oh, no, yeah. no, no, I wouldn't do it. I, well, I wouldn't trust me to give myself a test. Well, with your own blood. Okay, we got to keep moving. With your we? own blood test, you know, with your nose bleeds, you had that covered. Well, Jewish noses bleed a lot. <laughs> now, the city investigation, there's a big investigation going on now with the city. Outside uh, elements from Albuquerque. This started when Stuart Ede actually resigned. and uh, He was a bad city you know, manager. Yeah, but, you know, uh, Philip Sanfilippo, we were friends with him, kind of, well, and everybody Marcia, was, his... Everybody was, but yes. uh, it turned out he was crook. Well, we don't know if he's 1. a crook. $1.7 million dollars were mishandled, M M M many of it through Visit Las Cruces. We're still going to find out what's going on there. And we like Marcia. Oh, and, what's this? And, and Marcy Dickerson was involved in all that. Marcy Dickerson? Yeah. We tried to work with Marcy. Marcy's really good. We loved her M5 restaurant. We're sad to see, have seen yes. it go. But yes. the game is good. She and, tries to do as much as she can. And also, before we go, we want to mention the fact that Don Wells. Don Wells. TBS. This is a cookbook that Don Wells published <laughs> uh, at some point when I was working in publishing. She was one of the stars of Gilligan's Island. Pointed that way. Pointed that way? Okay. Oh, we have we have an expert. Oh, look at that. Pull the... Pull the. Yeah, there we go. Don Wells did it. Marianne's cookbook. Gilligan's cookbook. Gilligan and the Skipper. I, I've tried every one of these recipes. They all involve coconut or something. No, they all, they're good. Well, Alan, Alan Hale Jr. there, who played yeah. the skipper, had his own restaurant in uh, Hollywood. Everybody I, loved Dawn Wells. I mean, you oh, know. And, I loved her. Yeah. She's Everybody likes cute. Gilligan. I mean, I remember it's because of Gilligan I almost split my appendectomy. Oh, I see. When he was on uh, think, Dobie Giller's show. I think you took, I think you, think you took act, acting lessons from Gilligan. From Gilligan. We're going to wrap Whoa, it up, folks. Yeah. And we're out of here. We're out of here. See you next week, hopefully. Next year. Next week. Next. We will be. This is next year. We're in next year, pretty well, much. Well, it depends on when We're pretty much out. in next year. We don't know. All right. That's enough.